in 2008, I heard from a friend that this Broadway producer was trying to set up a Chinese production of the American musical Fame, and especially in China's own fame school, the uh, Central Academy of Drama, where many international stars graduated from, such as Gong Li and Zhang Ziyi. So I immediately thought this is going to be a great angle to see how a quintessentially American concept like fame, like self-made person, like spotlight, would translate in a Chinese environment. I want to be a superstar. Superstar. Yeah. 出名的话，每个人都希望。有名气了，当然就有钱了。So, in terms of the dreams, how much of these dreams for fame, for success, really owned by the kids themselves versus being pressured to them by their parents? Um, that's a very interesting question because when I try to explain China to my American friends, um, especially for the urban youth generation, sometimes I cannot tell really the, the, any major differences between them versus their American peers. But if there's any one, uh, there's one thing that's really stand out, stands out, it's the pressure they feel from their parents, the filial piety, and the, the pressure they feel like they have to make their parents proud. Secondly, there's another reason is that you know, in 1979, China started enforcing the one-child policy. So every family right now has only, in the urban areas, only have one kid. Or, as one of the characters said in the documentary, Chen Lei said, all hopes on us, even though these kids are really spoiled, a Carter, but then the parents are looking for a return, which is like, we invested in you, uh, make us proud. Because one family is only one, all the hopes are in our hands.